Hi David, Phil Beaver here from the Wilderness Club. Just want to recap on our lesson yesterday. So I felt we uh, had a bit of a breakthrough yesterday and that's mainly because of this pressure mat. Uh, if we have a look at your swing here on the left and I'll just zoom into these numbers for you. If we look at this pressure thing here, we can see we talked about the the little white ball is your centre of mass and that's where your, your weight is moving and that yellow line ideally would run linear up and down the horizontal line. Okay. Now we can see it's set up, you've got a little bit too much weight on your left side, 61%, 39 on the right. And we can see also your left toe has nearly 90% of your pressure into the floor there as well. So setup's a little bit out, we just want to get you push, feel like you're a bit more on your right side. If we run through your swing, this is where, you, well, because you've hurt your ribs, you've just tried to stay so static. You know, last lesson we was working on trying to turn a bit more because the arms, you know, if we just actually look at the swing itself... Just almost looks like the arms are swinging itself. You know, the club's going outside the line, just picking the club up. To me, you know, you know, you can see here with the belt and your trousers, you know, it's just no turn. The chest isn't turning. Arms then come down outside the line. You move into it this way with your pelvis. And then we can see there there's a shank uh, and a, not, not the best shot for you. And if we look on the pressure mat, we can see as well, look at your... As you start swinging back to your right side, look, we get right to the top of your backswing, and we've only got 50% of our weight on our right side. Now, all the guys on tour are going to have between 80 and 90, so we're not moving off it. And we, I related it to, you know, giving somebody a punch because the boxing was on last night. But, you know, if you're going to load up to hit someone or hit something, you know, you, you're, you're going to get all your weight into your right side to, to push off that to uh, propel force. And we can see with you, you're just not moving. You're staying so static. So that's the first thing. And then when you start coming down, we can see as well, or looking at it, 90% of your or 100% is on your left toe now, and 70% is on your right toe. So the weight is always moving this way forwards, which is dangerous for yourself. And when you actually start coming down, again, look at the weight and the pressure mat, 100% in left toe, 77 in right, coming into impact. Bang. So not only have we got 100% of our pressure in both of our toes at the front when it should be in the left heel, okay, uh, and the right foot would be about right 100%, but the left foot should be 100% or 90% in the left heel, we can see you haven't moved off the ball. So it's set up, we had 60% on our left side, top of swing, we've got still got 50, 51% on our left side, and then coming down into impact... And you make contact, you've only got 45. So actually your weight is moving backwards, David. And this is why we're not hitting it very far. Strikes aren't good. So quickly, how do we fix that? So if we look at the swing now on the right, we can see that actually we've got you moving quite dramatically to the right. And look at that now. You've got 90% of your weight or pressure into your right side. Completely different to the swing on the left. The ball's moved to the right. The yellow line's a bit more to the right. And the pressure in the heel is much better. As you start down... Obviously, yesterday we was only just working on it. We're starting to get a bit more weight into the left side, but we can still there is still only 45%. So I gave you a feeling of really sort of loading up to the right side on the way back, and then we've got to start to push into that left leg. At the moment, you're a little bit scared to go into that left leg at the moment, but massive load up to that right side. Get that ball moving to the left as quickly as you can. And the last little bit of the jigsaw was the club face. Sometimes you're just leaving a bit open, just get them hands rolling over for you, which is easy. Think of your tennis days where you used to uh, hit forehand smashes. So, you know, you can always come and use this pressure mat from me, David. I've tried to give you the feeling, but, you know, even if you make a backswing, almost lift your left foot off the floor. It gets all your weight to your right side. And then when you come to impact, almost lift your right foot off the floor. That's the feeling we're trying to get, that sort of seesaw of weight movement. I hope that makes sense, David. And uh, I think we really got somewhere yesterday, and I look forward to seeing you again.